Hi, and welcome to the latest video from Mayfield Restorations. Before I start telling you what this video is about, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that's commented, liked, watched, and even more so subscribed to my channel. It's greatly appreciated, and I hope you keep watching and enjoy the content that I put on. Anyway, here we go. This one is another vanity uh, slash dressing table here in the UK. Uh, circa 1940s and this one is made out of solid oak a beautiful piece of furniture and I really hope you enjoy what I do with this stay tuned for the reveal at the end thank you hi I'm David and I restore restyle and refinish old and loved furniture I use a variety of methods and techniques to bring this forgotten furniture back to life welcome to my channel This piece was uh, was really quite dirty, so the spray I'm using at the moment is just a standard degreaser spray. This is available here in the UK, it's called Elbow Grease, uh, and it's really cheap, but it definitely does the job. This piece definitely needed a thorough cleaning before starting, even though the plan was to sand it back to the bare wood. So give it a good cleaning, rinse it off with some clean water, and let it dry. Here I'm just showing how I remove the caps that are sometimes on these vintage pieces, covering the screws inside. Just start off with a small screwdriver and then start to pry it off gently, trying not to damage the wood, with a larger bladed screwdriver uh, and then just pull it off with your hands or with a set of pliers and that's it. Once I'd removed the screw from the handle, it still wouldn't come off. So I noticed there was a nail in as well. You can see it there at the front. Uh, not very clear, but it is slightly protruding. So all I did was I straightened up the nail and I knocked it through uh, with a small hammer. And the idea was I would just be able to pull it out from the back of the drawer once it had been pushed through. Now this is normally simple, but for some reason, I think it's because it's solid oak. Um, and probably because of the nail used. I tried every set of pliers I had and I still couldn't remove this nail to the point where it just kept snapping. Now I even used a, another nail that I blunted off at the end um, in order to push the existing nail through to the front so I could get more um, purchase on it with some different pliers. However, that didn't work either and the nail just kept snapping. So part of the nail was left in the drawers, but that doesn't really matter. Um, it wasn't protruding and I just used a different nail when I reattached the handles. So no big deal. As you can see here, this drawer has some intricate wood carving detail on the front of it. So I went with paint stripper to try and remove some of the existing finish. 
I don't generally use paint stripper. I don't particularly like it. I don't like the mess, the cleanup, and I do have mixed results with it. A lot of the time, I don't have a great deal of success. Um, it tends to dry out before uh, it's had time to do what it needs to do, or it needs multiple coats, and I mean two, three, four. Um, so, yeah, I don't have great results with it, but I thought I'd give it a try in this case. And as you'll see in a second, um, I was right about the results. Not great, but at least it made a start. Once I'd finished with the paint stripper, I just needed to neutralize the stripper with some white spirit and some 4-0 wire wool. So put some on the wool, not as quite as much as I did here, and just wipe over and remove that excess. Job done. The drawers seem to have a coat of shellac on them as well as coats of other finishes. Um, so that's why I reach for the uh, methylated spirits or denatured alcohol. It melts away the shellac. So just rub it on with some wire wool. Um, and once the shellac has softened, just go over it again with some dry 4-0 steel wool. Um, yeah, it brings it off a treat. There was still some finish left on the drawers after I'd used the methylated dirt spirits on them. So rather than going in with the sander straight away, I thought I'd try a bit of scraping. So I used my utility blades, I used this little steel scraper, I actually used a carbide scraper as well, which I haven't shown on the video. It does work, it's slow and time consuming. Um, so as you'll see in a moment, I switched to my old trusted method. Um, the veneer on the front of this was quite thick, so I knew I'd get away with being able to sand it. This is a little sponge interface pad for my sander. You can get them for most sanders. So you just simply attach it with the Velcro fastening onto your sander, and then you put your sandpaper onto the top of that. So it acts as a buffer when you're sanding shaped areas. Uh, quite useful, but in this case, I didn't use it much and I went on to hand sand.
If you like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It's a new channel and all your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. The shellac I mentioned earlier on the drawers, you can get a better picture of it on this shot. You can sort of see the shellac. Um, I know it's difficult to identify, but you can sort of see the cracking in it. Now that could be other things, but it's also the same of shellac. So again, some methylated spirits and some wire wool to remove that layer of shellac. Handles on this piece were, were solid oak and they did look to be handmade due to the way they were all shaped and slightly different, um, albeit not noticeably. But yeah, really nice handles. For the next part of the process I wanted to make sure the dust was removed from the piece. I've got a air compressor so I just used that initially to clear the bulk of the dust and then I wiped the full piece over with some white spirits and a microfiber cloth which is really good for picking up the small amounts of dust left on the piece. Here I'm using a small artist brush to flood the carved detailings just to make sure the bits in between get enough stain on them. The rest is done in the usual way with a small folded cloth.
Using a small artist brush, uh, some stain and a steady hand, I like to stain the dovetail joints on this just to add that little bit of extra detail. Just make sure when you dip your brush, you take off the excess on a paper towel. If I'm using a polyacrylic top coat, I like to spray it on a piece this size. So I load the gun and I do multiple passes with a light coat each time and a light smoothing of the coat once it's dry in between coats, which you'll see in a second. Yep, yeah, I'll come clean. I messed up slightly on this piece. However, I managed to resolve it. The mistake I made is that the sides of the unit were patchy when I stained them and I didn't notice until it had the first coat of poly on. So I had to remove the poly once it was dry. I had to restain it multiple times and um, let that dry and then it was ready for multiple coats of poly which was fine because the whole unit needed more coats anyway so job done I use this brown paper bag technique in between my coats of sprayed poly. Once they dry, just use this bag as you would some sandpaper. It's like a very mild abrasive um, and it will remove any of the small dust nibs. I think it works and hopefully you will agree when you see the finished product in the final reveal. I'd just like to thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and you've picked up some tips along the way. And now it's time to see the final piece. Thanks again.
really hope you enjoyed watching this video and the work that I've produced. I definitely plan on adding more videos, so if you like what I do, please show your support by hitting subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.